Hello everybody, welcome back to um, the series of Android Bootcamp by Corian Hoxington's 3rd edition book. I think I butchered her name, I always butcher her name. Okay, let's go ahead and open our folder. Chapter 3, we're going to do case 3.3. Case 3.3, okay. Already? Actually, okay, so let's see what happens. So, okay. Open up Android Studio. Let me see uh, the paint uh, app displays. Okay, we do need an image. Paint calculator app already. So we're getting a paint picture right now. Where Android loads up. So, paint cans image. And we could, we could select five paints, so let's have an app with that. Something along those lines. This is a fun one. We we'll use this one. Save image as paint. Okay. Save that desktop. Close that. Make a new and Android app. Empty activity. And this is uh, called Paint Calculator App. Let's put that in the proper directory. Okay. Finish. Make big screen. Okay. Uh, make a big screen here. Thank you. Get rid of the tip of the day. All right. So let's open up the paint image and export it as a PNG. PNG. Go ahead. And put it in our chapter three. Save. Okay. And delete you. Open up our folder. Copy that. Okay. So it's still loading. Alright, so okay, I was about to read things to myself. I don't know why this the run task and run build are like that. Go ahead and Okay, you know why? Because we're not running an app, we're just creating it. Silly me. Activity and then this is all create. Okay, so give it some spaces. Show the import. Go on our design view. Okay, so we're gonna go resolutions. Go ahead and paste in that image. Paint. Make sure it's lowercase. I went ahead and turn off the fan because I was freezing. Okay, delete the hello world. Okay, so the app displays a title, an image, two text fields, and a spinner button and text view controls. The spinner shows five colors. The user enters the room's height in feet and the distance in feet around the room. So those are the two text fields. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some strings. For sure, we're gonna have a text title, and we'll just call that Paint Calculator. We're gonna have an image, Paint Picture of Paint Cans, Pictures of Paint. Okay. And what else could we do? We could add the button, button. Cost. Right, let's see what we create the color. Okay, so here's what it says the color and the exact number of gallons in decimal. Button compute. Compute two gallons. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and then we're going to have a hint. So a hint. And then enter paint. The user enters the room's height. Enter the room's height. And then we do paint two. Okay, room height. Enter the room's height in feet and distance in feet. Enter distance. Hint distance. Enter distance. 
of room. Enter distance and feet around the room. See, that makes no sense, but okay. Okay, so this hint paint. I'll do that later. Okay, then we do prompt. Select a color. Okay. And that's all I can think of right now. So I'm going to close that. Go to our string and hint distance, and I'll call this hint height. So let's go ahead and start editing it. So for sure we're going to have the text view. And then we're going to add on as we need to. Okay. So text title. Constraints. So I'll just go ahead and do it here. 600. Okay. Uh, text view is going to be associated with the title. Okay. And do size. 36 SP. All right. So if wants a theme, I want to go ahead and do dark, dark theme. It's like our pixel theme. More themes. Black. No action bar. No title bar. My bad. Okay. So then we're gonna go to styles. Then go ahead and just delete these, and then do no action bar. Save it. Okay, so we have a paint, and we're also going to have the image. Project, paint, okay. Image, paint. Set everything to zero. Already. And then I'm going to content description. Pictures of paint, and we're going to go ahead and raise it. Okay, and then okay, so we have that on oh, the ID. Oh, okay, I was tripping. Okay, so okay, name with two text fields spinner. Okay, so I guess we could do the text fields. And they're both going to be double, so right? Did I say that? Rooms high and feet, distance feet around the room. It doesn't say. So we could do decimal. Right there. And then we'll do this one right here. We could raise that one. So this one's going to be text height. Okay. Constraints. I'm going to associate it with a hint. And this was text height, hint height, hint height, hint height. Okay. And then um, this one was text distance. Yes. I'll just keep it 300. Okay. And that's going to have a hint as well. Okay. So Wait for that scroll or thing to go away, and then text hit, hit, hit distance. Okay. All right. So once we have that, we could go ahead and add. So hint spinner paint and then calculate. Okay. So let's go ahead and add the spinner to the strings. Okay. So we're gonna have string array, and then we're gonna do um, paint. Options and then items. Five colors. Item uh, red. Item blue. Uh, 
item green, item blue, green, yellow, and then item okay, blue, green, yellow. Let's see what the image has blue, green, yellow, purple. Okay, go ahead and turn that there, save it, go back to here. So let's go to containers now and add the spinner. SPN colors or paint. Decent spot. Okay, dialogue, yes, entries, paint options, and then we're going to have a prompt. Select a color, go ahead and change the size. Oops, to 195. Okay. And then we're going to have a button. Button cost. Or actually, button compute. Which should actually be convert. Button is going to be associated with button compute. I like the text size, so I guess I do. So we'll go check it out. That's decent. Okay, I can kind of raise this one a bit. Okay. And then we also have a text result. Open editor. Text result. Space. Okay. Text view. Text result. Okay. I like it there, so it's gonna keep it. And text is gonna be associated with the result. Okay. So we can actually center it, I guess, why not? Okay. This is squared away, squared away, squared away. This one wasn't squared away, but it looks fine. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and run the app. Save it first, then run it. Okay, so we have paint calculator. We have our paint, enter the room site, enter the distance of the room, red, compute to gallons. Everything looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wait, I didn't even test it out yet. Yeah, so. I'll go back in here real quick. Let's see the prompt. The prompt's not showing. So let's go back to um, spin paint. Let's look at our prompt. Let's make sure it's that dialog. Sometimes you have to um, actually select dialog and then run it. Select the color, there you go, one, two, three, four, five, awesome. So it looks like our app's design is complete. So now we have to code it. So I'm gonna close out, clear the cache. So now let's code the uh, code the app now. So okay, so I guess we're just gonna have total fee, so double total. Feet. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? Feet. And we're also going to have, we're going to have uh, height, feet, and distance, feet. Okay. We're going to have int 
or actually double. Okay, that means. And that's pretty much all I could think of. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and instantiate our button. Or final, actually. Let's do final edit text. Whoops. Edit text. Equals. I feel like I'm doing this wrong again. Yeah, see? Okay, edit text. Okay. Edit text, and we'll call it height. Equals. Edit text. Text height. Do the final edit text. Distance equals edit text. Find the r dot id dot distance. Okay. Now instantiate the button. Button, button, compute equals button text editable. I'm just gonna keep like that. Button, um, button. Button that compute to set on click listener new view. Alright. And button compute. Okay. So between here we should have a final text view result equals two parentheses text view. Find ID R dot ID dot result. Okay. And then here, right? I think I'm doing it right. Okay. So inside here, good. Okay, so we're going to do total feet. You know what I also forgot? I forgot to select our string. String color okay uh, ready all right so number of let's see let me think how exactly what they want so height feet equals integer uh, double actually dot parse double and then um whatever we call it here text height text height which is actually height height dot dot get text dot to string okay okay so we have high feet and then we have the same thing for um distance feet equals double dot parse double whatever we named it up here distance dot get text dot to string So then we're here, didn't add that for some reason. Okay. And then now we're gonna have um total feet equals height plus distance feet. Okay. Okay, total feet goes height distance feet. And then gallons equals total feet. But how much did it say it was here? 250 for every screw. 
250. So gallon equals total feet divided by 250. Okay. And then group choice, which is uh, color, equals. Wait, did I not set it? Let me think, let me think. Mm, that's right. We have another final here, and that's spinner. And that's colors. Equals spinner. Find ID. R dot ID dot spin paint. Okay. So color equals colors dot get selected. Ooh. Get selected item. And we're gonna make that two string. Okay. And while we're still in the button, we're gonna do result. Did I set that up? Like I did, yeah, I did. Result dot set text, and I see what it says for the prompt. Okay, the color and exact number of gallons in this will form are displayed. Okay, so we're gonna do gallons plus. N plus colors okay see that works I'm debugging it right now first okay it's sweet it's running I don't know if my algorithm is right because I'm not sure if they just wanted us to add the total fee and then divide it by the 250 to get a gallons. Gallons plus in red or any color. So, okay, so we have room height, say 13.4, and then the distance of the room would be 10.2. We're going to do the color blue and we're going to compute to gallons. Okay, see, we're forgetting something. Okay, so maybe dot set text gallons plus and blank. Hmm, because this is giving us a string. So maybe I didn't spinner colors. Why is that in red? Hmm. More format also. So decimal format. Gallon equals new decimal format. And we're just going to have it oof, like that. Okay. And then, okay, so, so gallons, that format actually, format, and then we do gallons. Okay. That should work. So it's installing, it's going to launch it right now. So 13.3 to 12.3. Keep it in red. Okay. Hmm. It's I know it's one of these things. So total feet equals height plus distance. Okay. You divide that by 250 and it's gallons. 
challenge. I just want to know why it's highlighted. Oh, okay, it just highlights it like that. Okay. Okay. This small gallon. Okay, so colors equals colors. I guess like the item got two string. It's not printing. So what we could do is just do. Let's go ahead and just do this. Test. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. Okay, this is going to let us know if the spinner is not becoming a two string. So 13.2, 13, 12, 3. Okay, compute two gallons. Test. Okay, that's good. So color plus color plus color red and two Gavin dot format actually yeah dot format dot format and then we'll do gallons Run that now. Let's see exactly what's not showing. Okay, it's just spec. Um, color plus color plus n plus gallon dot format. Gallon dot format. Gallons. Parentheses. Here saying something. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't add this. Okay. Go ahead and add play. Hit OK. Let's see exactly what's not. It could be the double. We'll find out right now. Because one of those um, catenations we did is going to be a weird symbol. Color red and super gallons. <coughs> so actually, so that worked in point one gallons. Or am I doing the math wrong? Yeah, so two fifty five by two fifty should be one. So watch, let me do this. Yeah, that would make sense. So I'm going to do 250 divided by 2, so 125. So 125, 125, and that should give us one gallon, because a gallon is needed for every 200, 200 feet. So, so one twenty five, one twenty five, red and one gallon. All right, sweet. That's so. That's how you do it. A little wonky. The only thing that I'm kind of confused about still is the um, this. But I guess you need to have text if you want it to just display um the color because if we just do it by itself since we know everything works 
if we just do this watch if we just do color plus in blank color this part it should not work is the theory I don't really want this video to be long guys I'm sorry I'm just experimenting over here so we know the math's right So we're going to do 12.3, 12 12 Red in 1 point. See, now it's working. I don't know why. Alrighty, guys. Well, I don't know what happened first, but we, we got here. We made it. We did it. So if you guys like the video, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it, subscribe if you want to see more videos that come. And let me know in the comments what you guys think. Maybe some advice like what I did wrong or why this was happening. Because I don't know. To me that's kind of weird. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.